Okay, I'm now going to talk about how to interpret a uh, bootstrap confidence interval. Uh, and so I actually want to start off with uh, uh, this uh, bootstrap confidence interval, which has been generated on Insight. Now, if you want to know how to do this, you can go to my previous video. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, but right now we're going to look at, okay, we've got down, we've got the confidence interval. You've uh, used the screen grab to put it into your report. Now, what are you going to say about it? Well, what do we see here? Uh, well, this data is comparing uh, boys, um, uh, boys and how much they spent on ball wear and girls what they spent. And what we found was that the in this sample, the girls are spending $110 more than the boys. But what we want to know is, okay, not just what's happening in the sample, but over all the boys and all the girls in the population, let's say that this is for a school, or maybe this is uh, for balls all throughout New Zealand, I'm not actually sure where the data is drawn from, but wherever it's drawn from, over that whole population, how much more are girls spending than boys, or is it possible that there isn't actually a difference? Um, so, we look at this, and we've seen in the sample, $110 more is how much the girls are spending in the sample. So we do the bootstrap confidence interval to account for the fact that different samples would have got different results. And so in the end, uh, the bootstrap confidence interval tells us that based on this sample, we can be pretty confident that the actual difference between the two medians back in the population is somewhere in between $90 more for the girls and um, $190 more for the girls. So both ends of our interval are above zero. Okay, if we were on the negative side, that would be indicating that there was some possibility that the boys were spending more, uh, but we've not come up with that. Zero is not included in the interval, so therefore we can be quite confident that the girls are spending more. Okay, uh, if we uh, then look at a different confidence interval, we might get a different story. So if we look at this bootstrapping, this was looking at the number of friends on Facebook, and uh, in this case, we found that the girls had 130 friends, uh, more friends, 130.5 on average more friends uh, using the median than the boys. Um, whereas, now when we do a resample from that, we're trying to discover, is there enough difference between these samples? Now if I look at those two samples, I don't see a lot of difference between them. There does seem to be slightly more for the females, but it's not a big difference. And it's, could that just be the result of sampling variation? Don't know. So what we do is we run a bootstrap and we introduce sampling variation back into there. And so once we've run that uh, through the bootstrap, we get a confidence interval of between negative 181 and positive 180. So that that room this is set up with how many more does the girls have than boys in terms of friends on Facebook okay uh, so in our sample the girls had 30 more but based on the sample we can only say that the difference is somewhere between 180 either way okay so zero is in that confidence interval therefore we cannot claim that girls have more friends on Facebook than boys based on the sample we just do not know at this point um, based on this data um, so that would be the end of your report you would just say look we think it's somewhere in between these two amounts of difference that girls have 180 more or boys have 181 more um, it's somewhere in that region it could be that they're the same um, so that is all I can think of to say right now. So uh, good luck and um, yeah, awesome.